Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this particular video, I'm going to show how to recorrect upside down footage with Inside Edius. Now, what it is, you may have used certain types of phone footage, which unfortunately Edius doesn't understand the orientation of it when it comes in. So, what I've done, I've gone out and shot four different clips using a Samsung Galaxy S5. I've put them in the timeline and two of them are wrong. So what I'm gonna do is just kick straight into it and then show uh, two different methods for recorrecting the orientation of the clip. So as we can see here in, in the timeline, I've got four clips. I'm just gonna let these run through and they'll be self-explanatory. This is clip number one on the Samsung Galaxy S5. I'm using the front facing camera. As I'm looking at the phone, the camera is to my right. This is clip number two for the Samsung Galaxy S5. I'm on the front facing camera and the camera is to my left. This is clip number three on the Samsung Galaxy S5. I'm on the rear facing camera and the camera is to my right. This is clip number four on the Samsung Galaxy S5. I'm on the rear facing camera and the camera is to my left. Okay, so as you can see there, uh, clip number one and clip number four are upside down. Now, I've already pre-processed these to, to orientate them the right way. And I'll show you what I've used to do that, and then I'll show you how to do it. So the first clip, I've, I've simply used uh, layout. Sorry, let me click the first clip. On the first clip, I've used layouter to actually do uh, to, to correct the orientation of the clip. So if I just switch layouter on... There we go. I'll just play a bit of that. This is clip number one on the Samsung Galaxy S5. I'm using. As you can see, that's fine. Uh, I'll just play a little bit more and I'll flip layout or off and on just so you can see the orientation changing. In the front facing camera, as I'm looking at the phone, the camera is to my right. Okay. And then on the fourth clip, again, that's wrong. Now, if I select the clip and then you can see here, I've used the mirror filter to correct that. So I switch mirror on and then I'll play that and it'll be fine. And then as it's playing, I'll kind of flip it off and on. It's to my left. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna delete that filter and then I'll start afresh with that. It's a very, very easy one to use. So what you do, make sure you're in your effects bin, go up to the top, click into filter or video filters. Then on the video filters, just scroll down until you find mirror. There it is. Then literally you can either drag, sorry, before I go there, what you do, you need to make sure that you, the clip you want to alter is actually highlighted. And then either drag it straight there, which is like, you know, the, 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 the clip filter properties and stuff, or you can drag it straight onto the clip. So I'm just dragging it straight there. Now, if I go here, and click into mirror i think it automatically defaults to uh, horizontal flipping so switch that off and then click on vertical flipping and there you go you can see it's corrected it if you have horizontal on it will also flip it hor horizontally as well but we only, we're only interested in vertical flipping so there we go that's okay so that simply is how you apply the mirror filter and then let's go to clip one again we highlight it and then what we do we go to its layout of properties. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reset its layout back to default. Let me just okay that. So this is as is now. So what I'll do, I'll go into layout. Now from within here, go into parameters. What you need to do is make sure, I mean, it should default to this anyway, but make sure you just basically, you're on transform in 2D. Then over here, the rotate function, you can either manually turn it round with you know turn the wheel with the mouse like that until you hit minus 180 or what you can do is click into it type minus sorry hold on type minus 180 and hit enter and as long as that box is saying minus 180 which is 180 degrees it doesn't matter whether you do it by turning the wheel or whether you type that value in then you've got that click ok and then there you go same it's it's corrected it so you've got two methods there which will work now the thing is that the mirror function some people might want to use that 
and then the layout of function some people might want to use that because there's a lot of lot more of other functions you can do with layouter i'm not going to go into that right now because layouter is a very very powerful tool uh, within edius uh, me personally i would use layouter because it would allow me to do other things as well as kind of flip it i could you know i could like rejig re it the size on it and stuff like that layouter for instance is amazing if you're shooting in uhd or 4k or any resolution above 1080 and then you edit in 1080 because you can zoom in and reorientate the frame and whatnot uh, without losing any optical resolution anyway so there you go there's two quick methods on how you can actually reorientate the footage if it's upside down that may even that may even happen for certain other things that come in not just camera footage or you may want to deliberately put stuff upside down in which case either of them two methods will work okay well thanks very much for watching this video take care goodbye now